I really miss people. I really miss at least communicating with people. I haven't spoken to anybody for 42 days. And uh, that's, a, that's, that's definitely the longest period in my life that I've been without talking to anybody or seeing anybody or touching anybody or... I haven't gone mad. I thought maybe I'd be hearing voices by now, but I'm not. I'm glad to say I'm still sane, I think. <laughs> I'm eating some rather odd things now. But uh, apart from that, I'm pretty sane still. I love this place now. I, I felt real passionate love for being here in the last little while. It is an incredible place. I can't deny I get to live in this beautiful, pristine wilderness. Um, but without people, it's uh, it does just seem a little bit like survival. I'm surviving here, not really living. Everything I do is just um, almost a task light a fire, boil some water, make some tea, chop some logs. I'm not doing them for anybody else. There's nobody else in this deal at all. It's just me here. Uh, and everything I do seems to just be to get by, to, to keep me warm, to find me some food, to find me water. And so... Uh, the point is is kind of beginning to wear a bit. I realize now I need people around me. It seems hard to hard to delay it so much. I can't imagine when we didn't have mobile phones and internet and even when we didn't have telephones people must have you know lived like this quite a lot it's pretty hard uh, living without any sort of communication <laughs> I would like to phone home <laughs> 